the Dark World from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is returning in the sequel. Bunny Link is still presently unconfirmed though, and Flute Boy, crossing my fingers for you, my petrified tree friend. Details regarding the ending of The Last of Us have leaked online. Some tricky gamers cracked open a code in the recent demo where they found a very revealing list of cutscenes. So if that's something you want to wait and see for yourself, be careful what you read online. The game launches on June 14th, so be wary of all related forums and comment sections in the meantime. Peter Molyneux isn't afraid to speak his mind. In an interview with IGN, the Fable creator said, It's very simple with the Xbox. I just want the ultimate gaming console. Okay, there's a lot of things they could shove in that box, which are kind of about the living room, Netflix, and about Facebook, and Twittering and stuff like that. Well, I don't want any of that. How honest. The URL below has his full comments, but the big thing for me is that he said a Fable MMO sounds like a good idea, because it totally does. Keyboard Cat is suing Warner Brothers. Well, his master is anyway. The minds behind the Nyan Cat and Keyboard Cat memes are suing Fifth Cell and Warner Brothers for using animated versions of their kitty creations in various Scribblenauts games. Watch out, guys. Ceiling Cat is totally coming for you next. There is no end to how much I love each and every one of you, but there can only be one fixed fan of the week. This week, we're honoring the man who calls himself Assassin Dan. Dan told me, refresh, refresh, refresh. Ah, finally, the latest daily fix. That's what I do when a big game review is about to come out, Dan. Nice talking to you. And speaking of talking, hit me up on the Twitters, guys, at Naomi Kyle, and don't forget to hashtag daily fix. IGN recently had the chance to play Grand Theft Auto V. I know, we're cool like that. You can check out our preview at the URL below, and don't miss the new Man of Steel TV spot. It's Gat's Angry Superman, guys. Which reminds me, if you want to sound like a comic book connoisseur, give our list of the greatest Iron Man comics a read, and then read them, and by that I mean actually pay for them. The comic book industry needs the help, folks. And that's your fix for May 2nd. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online here at IGN.